Kira and Stephen are madly in love and want to get married. Oh, I found him. Oh, and I got to, him. How to and be there better. he is. <laughs> but it's been a busy year for the Dundalk-based lovebirds. Stephen has been busy watching football. If Stephen was any more laid back, he'd be dead. And Kira has been busy giving birth to baby Jaden. Their wedding plans were put on hold, but now they're getting 10,000 euro to have their big day. All they have to do is agree in the presence of a lawyer that Stephen will do it all. No contact, no phones, and just three weeks. Game on. But with Stephen and his drinking buddies in charge, will he emerge a champion or just score an own goal? It's just organising the booze up. Do you wear a white dress? Girls dream about the wedding from a young age and she's not going to have it, <laughs> basically. Okay. It's just going to be a joke for wedding. Yeah, I already know what it is. Hopefully, don't spoil it off. Anything goes, just don't tell the bride. I look like I put on weight on the day of my wedding. Stephen and Kira's lives changed forever, one night in Dundalk. We met each other four and a half years ago now, so it was 2008 when we got together. Uh, I just said the local nightclub in Dundalk, basically. He was a Mills and Boons character. Tall, dark, mysterious and handsome. He asked my number for like three times, he was that desperate for me. Yeah, I was. <laughs> and it was third time lucky for Stephen. Stephen and Kira, they're like peas in a pod. They complement each other. She can be quite feisty at times, he can be quite feisty, but they're both very laid back. Yeah, I think we're best friends. Yeah. No, we kill each other, but that's what friends are for. <laughs> no, you kill me. I no, he it. just annoys me. He just walks around like lurch and does nothing. And you're just like, oh my God, please help me. I'm bossy because I have to tell him what to do. So I don't know how he's going to do this. Stephen is laid back. He likes watching the television, whereas Kira would be doing things and she would be cleaning, doing all the housework. <laughs> but I think all men are like that, actually, so I think he's no different from anyone else. He's a couch potato. He's the, the absolute personification of the couch potato. Kira, there's a reason why there's a half time in football. That's when you get to do stuff. We all had our place in the family, but he was definitely the most spoiled one. <laughs> I'm not his fiance, I'm his PA. They call him my PA because, like, whenever I do the football or anything like that, Kira washes the, the jerseys, fills the water for me, and, and, you know, puts them in, in, the bags puts out. the bags in the car. Princess here just waltzes out. <laughs> it would be spoiled there, yeah. Yeah. So Stephen admits that he has been spoiled, but he may end up spoiling the biggest day of their lives unless he gets his act together. And their wedding plans have already been postponed once before when Kira found out she was expecting their son, Jaden. We always wanted to get married first, then have a child. Like the old style, you know, marriage, and then have a baby, like, but that didn't happen. It's great now to see, like, I mean, that their plans have been carried through and they're going to get married now. With Jaden nearly a year old, now Kira wants her big day, and she's placing all her faith in Stephen. He would absolutely idolise Kira. It'd be wherever she wanted would go. Stephen's a gentleman. He's in love with Kira. That's his love of his life. We are inseparable, yeah. really. We do Everton really as a family, yeah. don't we? Like yeah. Jaden does everything with us. Kira and Stephen are a team in every sense of the word, but before they can be together forever, they must spend three weeks apart with no contact until they meet to say, I do. I would be lost when I talk. I'd have to have constant contact for her every day, which is going to be very hard now not to be able to do. Because yeah. he'd be like a part of me. Like he'd be, be right there, like he'd be half my heart nearly. Do you know, so... <coughs> Cheesy. <laughs> She has placed 100% trust in him. And for me, that's a reflection of how much he loves her and she loves him. Fair play to you, Kira. I wouldn't do it. Today, Kira says goodbye to the other half of her heart. And for the first time since they met, this Liverpool fan will have to walk alone. I'm feeling nervous, anxious, excited and happy. So I'm looking forward to just getting stuck into it now, get organised in the way, because the sooner I get started, the sooner I will be back here, you know. I have a surprise plan for Kira now, just when I'm leaving, it's just something simple. And left her a wee note with a, a little poem written for her, so when she feels sad or down, she's going to have a wee read of that and then just remember why we're doing this when times get tough. In the in the At least Stephen will have his trusted groomsman, Fra, to rely on. Love you, Dad. Love you, Dad. Love you. See you in three weeks. Don't have to mind me, buddy. 
Like See you at the from... altar. Don't disappoint me. I would. Bye bye. Love you. How is it? <laughs> oh, he's so cute. You see? <sighs> We seem to be wife. In three weeks we begin our new life. I will do my best to make you proud and you will never again feel lost in a crowd. Oh. How you feeling now? Yeah, it was tough. Like, I didn't think it was going to be that bad, you know. Uh, I didn't think I was going to get emotional. I, I know I didn't show it as much, but definitely inside like, I, I felt it. So. I can only imagine what Kia was feeling, you know, I see a little bit of tear in her eyes, but... It... Oh, she's emotional anyway, so it is. Yeah, she's emotional, right? <laughs> I love you, Kira, my beautiful fiancé. I can't wait to see how stunning you look at our wedding day. P.S. We need milk. OK. <laughs> for the next three weeks, Stephen will be moving in with his mother, Una. Here we are, home for three weeks. That's it. Home sweet home. Welcome home, son. Well, how are you, pet? Yeah, you... Welcome home. Oh my God, a big day for you. And no matter how long they've been away, some things never change. Oh my God, you're not back forever, I hope. No, but there's a lot of washing for you anyway for oh, the three no. weeks. Uh -huh. You've no chance. It's been two or three years since Stephen lived at home, so I'm quite excited to have him home just for a temporary bit at least. I was a hands-on Irish mammy, unfortunately, and um, I hope that he doesn't come back expect me to do the same. I'll be expecting a request for ironing of shirts, but he can do that himself now, he's a big boy. But then I might relent, we'll see. <laughs> and when it comes to having the crack, Stephen has assembled a crack team. No, but we have to make sure anyway that the wine's good, just get it right for Kira, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, but I'll be calling every one of you for a bit of help and support yeah, anyway, so hopefully he's raised to the occasion, because I'll have to raise the occasion that day anyway. <laughs> Oh, here's a good three weeks, lads. Yeah. So would you trust your wedding day to these guys? Day one, and Stephen has a momentous task ahead of him. Stephen has his work cut out for him, but he has Fra, and he has Olmsy, his two wonderful friends from he was the age of five, and they'll support him in whatever way they can. Let's just hope they don't make a balls of it. The three of them are like three Egypts, basically. I don't know what I'm thinking whatsoever. <laughs> oh, God. No, Mr. Right, so that's... Any more than any venues or... Here's a pint here. I have a couple of ideas. I think for the ceremony we could do something different. What about Oriel Park? Oriel Park football ground? I think it's going to have something to do with football. I think. The three of them are all football crazy. So... I hope not. Kira's mother, Rosemary, has a special place where she hopes the wedding ceremony will be held, St. James's Church in Grange. Now, it is a family tradition going back to Kira's great-grandmother. She got married here and her granny and her mum got here. So that's why Kira would love to get married here too. She loves tradition and she actually loves the church. But Kira and Stephen plan a civil service. There was a family tradition of all the mammies that have gotten married here. And then I think I decided for civil ceremony then because I'm not really that traditional either. I am and I'm not traditional. So I suppose I just did want something different. But then, you know, when you are here, like I'm kind of thinking, oh, this would be nicer than just walking into a room with red carpet. This would be more intimate with your family and friends. But an intimate setting doesn't seem to be high on Stephen's list of priorities. Well, Oil Park is the home of football. It's a dream to come true. It's also where hearts can be broken. But I'm hoping today that I can find a place where I can marry Kira and make our dreams come true. Let's just hope her dream is the same as his. Ideally, what I like would be my best man, Brisbane, and myself, maybe arriving here on the minibus as you do for football. Get out onto the pitch, have a red tunnel now. Kira can arrive by a helicopter, take her onto the pitch. We walk out in the red carpet, uh, play your Nava walk alone. That ideally would be my perfect one. The old romantic. He's an obsessive compulsive with his soccer. It's a thought that has flashed through my head. If he picks Oriel Park, I, I, I think 
that would be the worst blunder. Most people want to get married in a church and you want to get married in a football well, field. Well, that's what I'm hoping for, yeah. There's nothing married in football, so I love being out in the pitch, so I'd like to get married on the halfway line. By all means, we could put a gazebo in the centre circle. We have the tunnel. Rather than walking down the aisle, you'd be walking down the tunnel. Left on the sidelines for her own wedding, Kira still ponders the kind of service she wants. I've always said if I was ever going to get married, it would be Grange Church. And now that's not the case. Like, Stephen has organised something else, I'm sure, at this stage. And there's something weird for me. No, I think it's nice. <laughs> <laughs> on seeing the church again, Kira seems to be having second thoughts. But once Stephen sets his mind on something, it seems there's little chance of stopping him. Yeah, so I was just wondering, like, looking around the room, how many do you think you'll be able to hold? Uh, I'm sure, like, we could get, what, 60? Well, I was hoping to maybe 150 people. I, <laughs> I don't think yeah, this room will do it. not going to be big enough here. Kira's had a lucky break. The function room isn't nearly big enough. Meanwhile, our bride is still coming to terms with her decision not to follow in the family tradition. I feel a bit emotional and kind of disappointed now, but me more so because I had decided different. I've kind of kicked myself a little bit, do you know? Oh well, that's life. Yeah, you don't always get what you want. Unless your name is Stephen, because he's found a huge hall at the football ground. And what girl wouldn't dream of getting married here? doesn't look much at the moment, but as you can see, it's big enough for a start. I think it's too much like a hall. Yeah, yeah. For a wedding, like, you know. Yeah. Is Stephen starting to see sense? Something to definitely think about. The paint hasn't dried yet. When I came here, I, I, I was definite that I wanted something involved in football, because my love of football is so strong. Actually being here now, I think my love for Kira kind of outweighs that. If I had a choice between football and Kira. Kira's going to win all the time. With only two weeks left until the big day, Stephen has no dress, no venue, no rings, no suits, no nothing, actually. But he'd better get a move on, as his bride is out looking at her ideal dress. I've had loads of girls tell me that you could have the perfect dress in your mind. That doesn't mean it's the perfect dress when you try it on. The wedding dress, I think, would be the main thing yeah. for a witness. Yeah. Every girl's dream is a wedding yeah. dress, isn't it? Well, you're very welcome to have a look through, yeah. see what kind of catches your eye, yeah. and then we'll have a little bit of fun and try some different styles. Different styles, yeah. yeah, OK. Meanwhile, the man who is more at home kitting out his football team is out to find that perfect dress for his fashion-conscious bride. I have to get this right. You only get one shot of picking a wedding dress, so if you get it wrong, it could be big trouble, you know? And he has all the help he really doesn't need. Luckily, I have Fran Odesy here to help me today. Basically, myself, I think I'm going to be lost when I'm in here, so I need their support, definitely. Have you thought about lace? For shoes? No, lace. Lace for dresses. For dresses? Yes. What do you mean, lace for dresses? Lace. Lace is very in. Right. So, um, this particular dress. Oh, no, that's curtains. Uh, you don't like that? That is in curtains. And it will be curtains for Stephen if he screws this up. I was confident going into the shop. When I seen all the different dresses, my head got melted. No. That's a definite no? Yeah, no, she wouldn't like that. OK. I don't know if I go through with the dress. If it was hideous, I'm really picky with my clothes. It's a couture dress, and I, I actually think it's a real fun dress. We, oh, uh, we, we think that it's a, a fabulous dress. And here's the first dress. Here she is. Oh, my, oh my God. God. It looks stunning. I look like a bride. My bum looks all right. It's not too bad. It's not too bad. <laughs> the dress could make or break the most important day of her life. But all she can do is have faith in her man. Oh, he's going to pick the wrong one. I know he is. I think Stephen mm, would probably go for maybe just flowy. He should know what I'm like, but then I'm not there to try it on. Since nothing is available in Fra and Onzi's size, Stephen has found a model. It is taffeta and it has an overlay of chill with um, some beautiful silver and pearl applique throughout it. No, you'd have to use that shawl to cover my eyes. I don't like it. <laughs> <laughs> I really don't like it. So that's a definite no? Definitely no. Why don't we just move on then? And... Yeah, move on. And they said the bride was fussy. Meanwhile, our Kira has found her perfect dress. That's you, Kira. Beautiful, yeah, doesn't it? It's just me. It's, it's classy as well. 
And I haven't seen him in three weeks, so I have to look my best. Oh. And against the odds, Stephen has found a dress that is almost identical. It is a lovely dress. I think it would be lovely on Kira, but I think a lot more could go wrong if I picked that one. OK, what are you can back? And plus with the, str the straps and it's coming down, I don't know if she would like that or not. Want to bet? The straps, especially. I always wanted these kind of straps. And I love the way it's a backless dress, because that's all what I always wanted. Yeah, this is the dress absolutely. I always had in my mind. It's not your normal, yes. you know, bodice, lace, out. Everything's just perfect. So it is. Stephen has made a dress substitution and sidelined the perfect wedding gown for something completely different. Right, so what do you think, Lance? Mark out of 10 for this one. I'd probably give it a 7. I'll go 8. 8 out of 10. Yeah. Right, that's not too bad. Not too bad. How sweet. You can really see Kier wear that. What do you think yourself? I'd definitely go for that, yeah. Definitely. So, I think if she doesn't like it, I can blame you. <laughs> We can go that far, but... <laughs> Some accessories, perhaps? I like the look of these. OK. Perfect. And Stephen is reminded that there is a price to be paid. So altogether, that comes to 2,315. 2,315. More than 20% of the entire budget. I'm hoping we can bring it down. Now for a game called You Show Me Yours and I'll Show You Mine. I just couldn't possibly do that. If at first you don't succeed... So... There's a final offer. Yeah, or nay. Dan. And I hope she loves it. So <laughs> I. I picked the best one I think that I possibly could. I did my best. I picked it from the heart. So hopefully that's good enough. It's my wedding day as well, and I don't want to look hideous walking up my eye and looking back at pictures thinking, you picked that for me. If you guess the dress wrong, I would hate to be him. I really would hate to be him. <laughs> with the dress ticked off the list, Stephen is a man with a plan. And his next plan involves local dance troupe, Crystal Ice. Now, basically, I'm getting married in the next two weeks. Congratulations. So I want Crystal Ice and Yuke Roof to be part of an idea I have to deliver the invite to my fiance. The idea I have is a flash mob in the shopping centre. And then what I'm going to have then is my friend coming out to sing a song. Oh. And the best man's going to deliver the invite down to her. I'd love to just surprise her. Oh, she'll be well surprised, I'll yeah, say. Yeah. <laughs> you could say that. A trip to the shops where they ask, would you like 50 dancers with that, madam? Despite the wedding preparations, Stephen is still making time for the other love of his life, coaching a kids' team at the local football club. He's just a nice person. He does loads with football. But with 10 days to go and a lot left to do, it's time to get down to business. Oh, lucky, good save. We have a checklist anyway. We haven't got much ticked off, so we have a long way to go still. I haven't got a venue. I haven't got a civil ceremony organised. I haven't got transport. And I've spent more, more than a total of the budget already. Stephen and Kira abandoned their wedding plans a year and a half ago, but they were looking at the Fairways Hotel for their reception. So Stephen is playing it safe. It's always been a place me and Kira liked, you know. Like a child's Kristen was here, so it means a lot to us. We had the Fairways Hotel booked. I don't know if I'd pick that again. Poor Stephen. She's changing her mind again. Hi, I'm Lynn. Hi, Welcome Lynn, I'm to the Fairways Hotel. When is the big day? I don't know yet. That's what we're here for today. Hopefully, get the venue. OK. Let me show you around, so. Yeah. The Fairways seems fair enough to Stephen. But Kira now wants something a little more stately. Because this is a whole magical new situation now, I'm kind of thinking I'd like the castle. Kira always loved Cabra Castle. It was just her favourite place. She just took this, you know, fancy to. In Cabra Castle, Kira is dreaming the dream. The trouble is, she's not the one booking it. It's beautiful, isn't it? Absolutely. I love the chandeliers. Oh, this is like paradise, isn't yeah. it? And there's candles and no flowers. I don't yeah. want flowers on my tables. No. Because I don't like them. Yeah. That's what I want. Yeah. Kira wants a fairy tale, but Stephen is in a land far, far away. Something like this would be ideal, space-wise. What do you think? Yeah, so you can do a lot of this room because the size of it. You see, size matters. Is there particular flowers that Kira would like on the table? Or? Oh, once they're alive, I suppose. I don't know. Okay. No flowers. Bride's orders. 
I hope Stephen does the right thing and she's not disappointed. If Kira is disappointed, then I'll be very disappointed. At least disappointment won't be the only thing on the menu. This is our wedding package that we have here available at the moment. Their price is based on the main course. You know, what were you thinking of? Well, I was thinking, well, I suppose Topkin Hobbs is a safe option. Which is going to work out at 42.50 per person. I can't do it for 42. OK, OK. What's, what, what's your budget? What have you got in mind? This? Really, all I can go for would be 3,000. Would you be interested maybe in going with chicken? I don't mind feeding the, the guys chicken or chicken feed, you know what I mean? OK. But uh, once I get a good deal on it. Chicken feed? The last of the big spenders. Meanwhile, Cabra Castle keeps delivering the wow factor. Wow. Fantastic. Look at this. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Look at the bat. Look at the bat. The curtains oh, and all this. Fabulous. But the fairways bridal suite seems perfect for a different kind of romance. Yeah, it's kind of more like a bachelor pad, wouldn't it be? I see more of a bro man's heel. <coughs> I'll be here all fry asleep now. Send her home. You can bed. sleep now. Do you have to have the bride stayed over that night? I should leave her in the bedroom, sure. <laughs> yes. Good luck with the happily ever after bit then. Well, this is the bedroom. This is the more romantic side of the bridal suite. Yeah. OK, normally now on the wedding day, we do have nice petals on the bed. OK, I'm going to show you the bathroom. Yeah. No, this is the bathroom. Again, at night time, you know, when you do decide to come back up to your room, we'll have it all lit up with candles. Yeah. There's definitely room for two in this as well. Anyway, there definitely so. is. There definitely what is. Tree, what about three? Tree? I'll leave that up to you. <laughs> Ever get the feeling there were three men in this marriage? I would love to get married here. It's just beautiful. It really is. You can't actually say I'm bad. No, it's just, it's what you want. You'd feel posh for the day. <laughs> really would. But Stephen has other priorities. If you come along, I'll show you the balcony area. Stephen, this will be ideal for your cigarette break. Oh, if you yes. want to go through and have a look. Now you also have a nice view as well. Yeah. Nice view of the motorway. Mm -hmm. Is there anything we could do with the fields, maybe like put a love heart on it or make something with the bins? Absolutely, sure. All we do is go across the road and ask. Yeah? Yeah, Good. absolutely. I'm sure the boys would help out on that one with me. Oh, yeah. I don't know what he has up his sleeve at all, but if he comes in with some harebrained ideas, she might go crazy. OK. There's definitely pluses and minuses on it, but pluses are definitely outweighing it at the moment. It is a pretty good venue, but there is other venues out there also. It's going to be whoever gives me the best deal to the stage. So for now, our groom is keeping his mind open and his wallet firmly closed. Meanwhile, his bride-to-be has her mind made up. You really feel like a princess, don't you? All you need now is those crowds. <laughs> oh, it's a dream world, I think. But will Kira get the chance to live her dream? Girls dream about the wedding from a young age and she's not going to have it, <laughs> basically. <laughs> now for the bridesmaids' dresses. And anyone who's ever been a bridesmaid knows how important this is. These dresses are the bottom of my priority and that's the truth. They're, they're quite special to Kira. They're not special to me. I find it hard to buy a dress for myself, so... Having Stephen to try to choose dress me is going to be extra difficult. He will probably surprise us all and pick something that will suit each and every one of us. So the main issue we have is going to be the price. Like the three lovely girls, I'm sure they look lovely in everything that they wear. It has to meet the budget at the moment and the budget's very limited. Yeah. <laughs> what price is it? 2.25. For three or for one? Oh, yeah. <laughs> You're having a hope. Uh. <laughs> now we're talking. Have you three them your sizes? Yeah. yeah. There you go, try them on. Oh. Go on, quick. This is a disaster. I don't mind shopping with a shopping with Kira, it's grand. But three, it's ridiculous. No man should have to go through this. No bridesmaid either. They're lovely. No. <laughs> this isn't working. What don't you like about Like, it does look like three people turned up to the wedding in the same dress. I'm not ruining the most. The price is right. We three dresses and fitches. I give you one more chance, like one more opportunity to get a dress, but it has to be in the next 20 minutes or so. Stephen is trying his best, and as they move to another shop, the girls are trying his patience. Right. They have to try them all quickly. Yep. Run. Let's so, run. Remember, stand by the other ones. <laughs> Make sure you fit into them. 
the dress is now, like the, the ones upstairs, they hated them, but they fitted them and they were in price. To want these ones, they're going to have to make sure they fit into them, otherwise I'm taking them straight back upstairs and we're getting the cheaper ones. So what do you think? Much better. They Much look better. like bridesmaids' dresses. Yeah. yeah. And we matched this one. Exactly. We did yeah. last one. Yeah. We matched. The other ones are cheaper. <laughs> are you just lovely the other ones? Or something. Are you sure you still want the other ones? Uh, yeah, I think so. I don't know, I prefer the other ones upstairs now. Yeah, I think I'm becoming a bit of an expert now for shopping with women. Like, I picked out the bridesmaids' dresses now, no problem. Also, we got Kira's wedding dress as well in the one shop, so yeah, I think I'm a well on top of things now at this stage. In the meantime, the bride to be is going a little stir crazy. I don't really feel anything really at the moment because I don't have anything to look forward to. I need a date. So once I have a date, I'd know, oh my god, I'm getting married on whatever, whatever. He's gone two weeks, like. <laughs> Give me something. <laughs> Later that day, Kira arrives at the Marsh's shopping centre, unaware that she's about to get the surprise of her life. Oh no way! That's for me! Present from Stephen here. Hope you like it. <laughs> Thank you. Twenty sixth of September. <laughs> Kira now knows when she's getting married, but she doesn't yet know where, which is hardly surprising because neither does Stephen. I'm starting to get a little bit worried now. I have to admit, I have to get a venue as soon as possible. Well, it is Stephen to be very nervous. Plan it now with his mates, which is hoping that he gets it right. Determined to do right by his bride to be, Stephen has come to the picturesque Darver Castle on the outskirts of Dundalk. If we get the venue wrong or the ceremony wrong, I'd hear about it and probably for the rest of our lives it's it. Oh, you must be Stephen. Yeah. My name is Aidan. Uh, hey, Aidan. Want to show you around Darver Castle? Yeah. Well, yeah. At last, Stephen is swapping football terraces for castle towers and a greater sense of ceremony. Now, Stephen, this is the ceremony room. It's lovely. Seats for 120. Yeah. If there were a few more, we can take out some seats at the back here. Now, Stephen, this is the main banqueting hall. It's set there today for 160. That's exactly how it'll be. Yeah, so far, like, I like everything, you know. I know Kira would love this place too. It'd be like a dream for her, you know. What kind of prices do you be going for for like 150 guests? 150 you know? guests that normally would be, Stephen, a uh, 65 euro package, but we'll have to sit down, try and tailor our package to. Suit your budget. It, like my top dollar at the moment would be three thousand. I'm gonna have to do a lot of calculating on this. Maybe I can get back to you this evening and see where we are. Yeah, perfect. Okay. Leaving manager Aidan to his calculations, the three wise men put their heads together. So lads, what do you think? I think this place is amazing. Like it has everything that you're looking for. You know, I'm not saying anything wrong with the fellows, but like compared to here, it's you know. But you have to see the price as well. Like you know what I mean. You both have positives. You know. Both, both have negatives as well. I think we're going to have to think through this a bit more as well, weigh up our options. With the budget running low, Kira's dream castle may have to remain just a fairy tale. That night, Aidan calls and makes his offer. Hi, Stephen. I didn't think about your offer. And the best I can do really is about. I really appreciate the offer. It's just it was all done places as well. They've given me great deals. Is oh, is there any leeway in that at all? I could probably take a look at the package again and take out a few items. The thing of the numbers you're yeah. looking at, the best I could do yeah. is three and a half thousand. No, I'll tell you what, Aidan. Then uh, I'm going to go with this. 
we'll, we'll stick with the 3,500. Okay, thank you. Done. Got a date. Well booked. Feels real now. <laughs> Venue sorted. Time for some fun. And for Kira's hen, Stephen has arranged an adventure day in Carlingford. All I wanted to prove to Kira is that, like, I love her, do you know? And then I can't do things for her, do you know, with her in mind. <laughs> Jesus Christ, I can't do this! I'm not grand! I'm not grand! I'm not the edge! I need a drink, badly. When Stephen was planning this hen, I think he was trying to get me to face my fears. And I have. I was terrified of heights. So I don't think I'd be afraid anymore. I think Stephen knows me really well. So if he does this for the hen, I can't wait to see what he does for the wedding. Scottish-born Stephen wants a Caledonian flavour to the wedding. But will this be fair on his guests? He's born in Glasgow, so uh -huh. I was hoping maybe just lay on the bagpipes and play it on the day for all my guests and Lovely. for my wife. OK. Um, how long have you got? I've only got an hour. Right. <laughs> OK, this might take a little longer. Meanwhile, ignorant of Stephen's new set of pipes, Kira is in her own little bubble. Looking good, guys. Let's go Zorbin. <laughs> the hour is up. Time to see if Stephen has mastered the bagpipes. Once again, Stephen is hitting all the wrong notes. Having survived the assault course, the girls hit the town for a night of high expectations and high heels. So do the boys. And when it comes to arranging stag nights, there's none better. <laughs> That's just a normal night. I hope the head's going as good. Stag so far is going brilliant. Meanwhile, the poor girls are all dressed up with no place to go. I think the plan's going well, but it's not even finished yet. Plan? What plan? Oh, that plan. We thought of it with the hen and the stag. Why not us get a strip? Why should they have all the fun? Don't worry. They're not. I'm wrecked. I could just go home to bed with my pyjamas and a can of Diet Coke and just go to sleep. Tonight has been great so far. Plenty of surprises, especially with the boys got me a strip up. Not only was it a strip up, but it was a male strip up. We look, we love Stephen the Bits. It means everything to be there, to enjoy this night with him. It's emotional for all of us. It's really going to be just. Well, for the boys and myself, you know, it's a great way to set me off as a sunset, as they say, but like, we're going to have plenty more nights, you know. Poor Stephen, caught in a bad bromance. Meanwhile, Kira is off for her first glimpse of the dress she has dreamt of since childhood. She just never dreamt it would be chosen by a man. I'm really nervous. This is the biggest moment for me of my life because I'm, I'm getting married and I'm trying on my dress. You know, I could hate this dress and I don't want to stress him out either, but if it comes down that it's horrible on me, I won't wear it. I just can't wait to actually go in now and face my fears. If I could put a smile on her face and a tear on her eye, you know, I know that I would have done a good job. So, Kira, this is the dress here. Now, the moment of truth. Maybe a closer look? We're going to try it on. 
It's a corset. What's it like at the bottom? Is it straight? I'm not like telling you. <laughs> I think it's glitzy and I don't know if she liked too much glitz or not. Maybe it'll be fabulous on. Maybe. But she did say, if she doesn't like it, she's not wearing it. At the 11th hour, Stephen is inviting some guests in person. Advice to the wedding. The band is going to be Dalva Castle. Brilliant. Dalva Castle is one fantastic spot. Ceremony and... Ceremony and all. Thank you very much for that. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. And as the curtain goes up for Kira, a lifetime of dreaming is about to come to an end, one way or the other. Oh my God. This is one very nervous room. Where are we going now? Not that you'd expect it all. But it's just fantastic. Yeah. Okay, can I see it now? Please. <laughs> I'm freaking here. <laughs> Five, four, three, two, one. <gasps> oh, wow. Oh, it's lovely. Yeah, I love it. Oh, my God. When it was in the actual cover, I opened it up. I didn't know if I liked it or not, because it was very different to what I had tried on. I really love it. Just, I just hope there's no fail now. That's, that's the next surprise I don't want to have. Oh, I bet you there is. He's got your headpiece. Oh. <laughs> I am fine. <laughs> <laughs> you look a princess. Am I? Yeah, you wouldn't pick better yourself. When I saw Kara in the wedding dress, I could have cried. Because <laughs> it just was so emotional. Like, it's, it's just, she's fabulous. And it's letting her go probably would be, I'd be thinking, oh my God, she's gone now from me as such. But a bride has to be perfect from head to toe. <gasps> Bling out. <laughs> so this is oh, the shoes fabulous. he's picked for you. <gasps> Oh my god. Oh, I love that man. Now they are sexy. Yes. Aren't they? I yes. love you them myself. I have a sexy ankle. <laughs> <laughs> my god, he did good. I can't wait now for tomorrow. Yeah. Thumbs up, Stephen. <laughs> Dreamy dress, sexy ankles, beautiful bride. But Stephen can't find the words to say how much he loves her, which is a shame because he's writing a letter. So, uh, probably the last thing I'm going to need help with is vows. His father was a great help. He actually explained to me the difference between vows and the vows. So vows are actually something lovely and romantic you write to uh, your wife, and vows is like I, E, O, U, and A. When I looked into your eyes... <laughs> when I looked into your eyes... I could see your love was strained. <laughs> and darling when I hold you. And darling when I hold you. In the cold November rain. Now, where have we heard that before? My opinion does not matter at this stage anymore. I'm going to pass that all over to Kira tomorrow when I see her, and she'll tell me how he did, and that's all I care about. I don't care what anyone else says how he did. It doesn't matter how I think I did. Once I know Kira's happy, if she's happy, I'll be delighted. If she's not happy, well then, it was a waste of time me doing it. I think he was going to be very proud of uh, Stephen. Like, all he's done over the last couple of weeks, everything's worked out. I think tomorrow is just going to be a good day for all. The wedding day starts at the hairdressers. No split ends, just a bride at her wit's end. Yeah. Past three weeks, I've kind of been in the dark. And then today, it's just bang, I'm getting married. But I'm just shaking all over, really. And I feel like getting sick. I'm very nervous for Kira today. She was a bit emotional this morning, so I had to comfort her a bit. But she seems to have relaxed now. I think the whole pampering thing is helping her this morning. I'm freaking out over time, so I am. I'm a time freak. It's at 12 o'clock. I will be there at 5 to 12. So if anyone comes late, it's not my problemo. Football mad Stephen has decided to sell Kira a dummy, setting up the football ground as a decoy venue. Being nervous was uh, trying to get this done 
worried about the draw still, you know, uh, as he likes it. I'm worried that she will show up. I think she will show up, but I hope she's going to show up with a smile on her face and a tear on her eye. Ah. Amazing how a few candles on the floor can transform a room into a room with a few candles on the floor. Now time for Kira to see how Stephen has kitted out his team of bridesmaids. Oh God, this is nerve-wracking. <laughs> wow! Oh my oh God! God. <laughs> <laughs> Did he actually pick them? <laughs> I'm shocked. <laughs> they are fabulous. Well, enough about you. I am away to get my dress done, so <laughs> good luck. <laughs> And when it comes to dressing up, the men are skirting the issue. The crowd's coming for us now at 11 o'clock. So it's a quarter 11 now, 15 minutes, and still not ready. We'll be there before Kira anyway, that's the main thing. And now for a tactical talk to his team on how to sell the fake venue to Kira. You just know what to do, don't you? You just have to light out the candles just after 11 o'clock. Close the door, keep them locked, just check it to make sure everything's okay. When Kira arrives, uh, open, you see her coming in, in the minibus, just open the door, gently open the door and just say, welcome Kira. Uh, your guests are waiting for you, please follow the candles. Time to go do it. Really there. All you can say is well done. Go back and do it. Okay, lads. I'll see you both. Dead man walking. She adores him and he adores her and I'd say short of the moon falling down on top of her head, nothing would stop her going ahead with this wedding. The moon falling on her head are, of course, Stephen's plans falling down around his ears. But for now, here comes the bride. Yeah. Our bride is late, but when she sees the transport, she may not want to come at all. That is not for me, is it? Is this all you could afford? <laughs> the bridal boots. Has Kira just stepped on board the blunder bus? I'm late. Stephen arrives on time to Darver Castle, while Kira plays a guessing game called Where on Earth is My Wedding? I hope there isn't a big marquee outside at my house. In the green. In the green? Right, in the green. And all your neighbours are And all the nosy neighbours. That'd be great. So no, wouldn't. Why? Bridal suite in my own house. Brilliant. While Stephen makes his castle fit for a queen, the bride is about to throw a fit. Oh, please don't tell me the football fetch. Oh, please don't tell me the football fetch. Oh, no! What's going on? As Kira prepares to walk up the aisle, it seems her worst fears have come true. Am I going in here? Oh, God. Look at the auction. Kira's heart has hit the floor. But Stevens is already there. Oh, don't make me cry. <laughs> Why is there something old, something new, something borrowed? Hello. Kira, can you believe this day has come? I am so excited to see you. Did you really think I would let you get married in the dressing rooms? <laughs> he knows me so well. Last surprise for you is your something old, something no new, borrowed and blue. Open them up and enjoy what's ahead. You're going to the chapel and you're going to get married. Love you at all, my heart. You're very soon to be husband, Stephen. <laughs> oh my God. While Kira gushes over her gifts, Stephen anxiously awaits the arrival of his bride. It's a lot, it's a lot of 25 past 12 now. You should be well married at this stage. Still no sign of it. You know what I mean? She might duck down when she's seen that surprise <laughs> going down about having them all fit. Time to put her out of her misery. And from now on, she's travelling in style. <laughs> this is more like it. My expectations are fulfilled. It's a miracle moment of love. 
Who is the next port of call? We don't know. It said in the card that that was the last of the surprises. Did it have it? You don't know, yeah, but you don't know him. So it's hard to win. Still no sign of the bride yet, so now we're starting to kick in. We've all the guests here anyway. The bridesmaids have showed up, all looking lovely. I'm calm at the minute, but I just, just really want to see her. I just miss her so much now. But for the bride, the mystery tour continues. Oh, the Stevens Town Pond. The Stevens Town Pond. If you take a right here, we're going down. It is. It's not. No. No, we're not. Where are we going? At last, all is revealed. We're going into Tarver Castle! I'm getting married to the perfect place. I'm getting married to the perfect place. I'm getting married to the perfect place. <laughs> Their joy at seeing each other, that for me stood out more than the dress. Like, I thought they'd never leave each other alone and actually get married. Oh, I tears from my eyes. No, it's only been three weeks, but you'd nearly think it was six months. It was just so romantic. From both of them, like, it was just lovely. Absolutely lovely. And now for the long hello. I didn't mind the wet at all. I wasn't one bit nervous because I knew you'd get here. I, just, I waited 23 years of my life before I met you. You were the only person I would have been willing to do this with, and I'm glad I'm doing it with you. You are the most beautiful person I've ever met in my life, and just keep being yourself as a coach. <laughs> it was a hard three weeks, I think, but it's worth it, was worth it all. My worst nightmare would have been getting married in a football club. Like, honestly, who would want to get married in a smelly football club that's full of boys? Now the bagpipes. If at first you don't succeed, cheat. Did he actually learn how to, you know, play them? So then when I copped on, there was a fella at the back playing. But it was good crack. And what he did, it was very good crack, though. But that's Stephen. He likes to entertain. She definitely felt a princess today. She just looked like a princess. She got her castle, but she wanted it. Which is brilliant. I'm delighted for her. And uh, Stephen did great with that, I have to say. I don't think he could have done any better. He's really excelled himself for her, for him, for Jaden, for everybody. Like To be able to give the woman that you love the dream wedding, to the fact that she's able to get married in the castle, Kira has got to live that dream. Yeah, I'd like to thank these two boys. They're brilliant. I didn't believe he could do it, but he came up with some ideas to me at the start of it, and I was thinking to myself, no, uh, don't go through with them ideas, man, because you crack up. And then you've seen yourself today, what this venue's been like, it's just unbelievable. As you know, a man organising a wedding, it doesn't really fit. My friend made it fit, he's used to that. <laughs> you're seeing people look at two people in love, you just know they're in love. And you see that in Stephen and Kira. Today, he surpassed even my wildest expectations that he is such a serious romantic. I love you and never leave me again <laughs> for over one day or I will kill you. <laughs> it's lovely. That's what this, what this day, whole day is about. At least Fran and Onzi still have each other. Mm -hmm. <laughs>